Hi guys, well here we have the uh, first of the figures that I, I painted. I painted all these guys in 12 hours, which I thought was pretty good at the time. The 54mm figures, the Perry uh, miniatures, they were designed specifically, every, every miniature was designed specifically for the diorama. Uh, they'd never been made before. Um, I think they spent quite a lot of money, about a million odd dollars. Uh, on miniatures and getting them all designed. These are my these are the Turks that I did. Um, I only did one batch of um, of Turkish. There's a few more up on the block above. Um, I got those off some of the other guys because they didn't have time to finish them. Um, I airbrushed the first couple of layers of the Turks. I don't know if that was allowable, but I did. Um, they came out pretty good though. And just another another batch of um, of Anzacs. 54 uh, figures. In total, and 54 mil high. So, really, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a great time, good good fun. And being that there were a few of us painting, um, we got to uh, see what the other guys were doing at the same time. And this last shot that's coming up, this is my friend Craig. Yeah, it's funny. He got into the um, the local paper with the miniatures that he was uh, he was painting. Jeez. Uh, G'day everyone, uh, Kent here from uh, 50mm Paint Shack um, from New Zealand and this video is, I mean it's a wee bit different than some of the other ones I've done. Um, in 2015 uh, I had the, um, well really the privilege of, of painting uh, some miniatures for Sir Peter Jackson. Uh, most of you will know him from the, some of the movies, The Lord of the Rings and things like that, that he's been involved in. But it wasn't just him, it was also the Nash, uh, New Zealand National uh, War Museum. And what happened is the, the call went out for 130 painters that were needed uh, um, around New Zealand to paint 54 mil, uh, millimetre figures that were made by Perry Miniatures. And at that stage they were, they were saying there was like 4,000, just over 4,000 miniatures. It ended up being over 5,000 miniatures that needed to be painted within a very, very short space of time. So um, it was said that we'd all need to at least paint uh, 40 miniatures each. Um, and you know, so I think it was like the 11th of February. It, um, the the call for painters closed, and the selection was was made for the ones that were going to be involved. So that was like the 11th of February. The miniatures um, arrived, but they had to be uh, painted um, and and back to them by the end of March. So I mean, there, it was a really short uh, window, um, and I I got my miniatures. I was really excited to get them. I've never painted 54 mil miniatures before, and these ones were um, no one had ever painted them because they were designed specifically by the Perry, Perry brothers. Um, they were really nice miniatures as well. It had big spikes on the on the, the feet for sticking to the the dioramas, which made it interesting. But I, I managed to get my my head around that for painting them. But um, so let's have a quick look at my bit of paper. Yeah, so 54 mil, mil miniatures, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll be able to paint them the way I, I like to paint them. But Peter Jackson uh, set out that they had to be painted a certain way with um, certain paints. So um, when it arrived, we had a uh, we got a sh sheet that we could download that told us how how we had to actually paint our figures, and I found that really challenging because it was nothing like what I would do. I used lots of washes and things to get the colours. Cost me about seventy bucks to buy the paints that they said it all had to be Citadel paints, um, and we weren't getting paid. It was just um, well, it was a real honour to actually be painting something like this for for Anzac Day, which is uh, a day where we remember the the fallen soldiers um, at Gallipoli. So yeah, we paid out. We were paying up our money, getting our paints. Actually, I think the country ran out of a lot of the paints that we were ordering. You know, one hundred and thirty people buying all the same paints. Anyway, uh, I, I got my figures, and 12 hours after I had actually received my figures, cleaned them up, uh, glued them together, um, and I had my first set painted. I was one of the one of the first lot to actually have my my figures back up on the on the site, uh, showing the first 20 figures that I had painted. Um, I really enjoyed it. But so that was 2015. Um, the reason it's now 2017 and I'm doing this video is number one, I didn't have YouTube back then, but also it's only this year that my wife and I uh, visited Wellington uh, where the National War Museum is and we visited the um, the Great War exhibit and I mean it's a big exhibit and the, the diorama is only a small part of it but it's a huge, huge diorama 
and the scale of the diorama and the death and destruction that it depicts, it's absolutely sobering and it really it really made you just take a second uh, look at, at life and what it's actually you know what it's worth and what they gave up you know so so many of them were so so young and what they gave up for for us so um there's some pictures here one of the pictures is of my friend he's kind of really close to about three uh turkish figures craig um he he was also painting with along with uh two others that were here in in timaru um, and the, as I said, there was 130 uh, nationwide, but there were four of us here in Timaru that did did some painting. So I painted, um, I painted 54, 54 mil uh, figures. So um, I hope you really like like it, and um, please leave some notes. My son says that if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. So um, I'm really trying to push some subscriptions up there. I've actually, well, no, I won't do that today. I'll do that another time. I was going to say that I'm actually thinking about uh, doing a giveaway. So, um, but we won't do that here. Not on this one. So, thanks a lot, guys. And I hope you really enjoy the photos to come of this um, amazing diorama. So, here we have all the all the boards. Once the, the miniatures have been delivered to Wellington, they had to go through them all, make sure them, they were all correct. Um, any ones that were, weren't painted correctly, they repainted. Uh, here's Sir, Sir Peter Jackson and a few of the other guys. Um, just um, inspecting the miniatures and now we have just a few shots from this point on of the actual diorama um, the casualties there I mean yeah 5,000 miniatures on this huge setup was it's just incredible and it just seems to go and go and go so these first few shots here are from the site called Mustering the Troops which is uh, the site that we used just to keep track of, it, of where everyone was at the time. It was a big secret. No one was allowed to know that we were actually doing doing the painting. And uh, yeah, the old Turks charging up. And here's me, uh, actually at the at the exhibit. This was at the at the end of the exhibit. As you can see, and that's just a, a a small part of it, just there behind me. It just stretched. All over, all over the room, as you can see. I mean, up to this point, we'd been um, watching uh, movie clips and reading boards and other parts all about this as we as it led to the room. So by the time you got there, you know, as I said, it was quite a sobering, sobering thing just looking at, at the diorama and reading the boards around it as well. Real privilege to be a part of it, and um, I would I would definitely definitely do it again if I was given the opportunity. Hey, thanks thanks for looking. Uh, I hope you um, enjoyed this one. Cheers.